What you doing? Programming babies. Yeah? Yeah. They all need the proper firmware for running the collective, which is different than what we shipped in the kits. So I have to plug in each and every robot and reprogram them with the new code. For testing, we don't use this for our stuff, but for testing we use an open source DMX console, the same kind of thing that like shows use to control all their lights. So these things think they're lights. So we use the software that already exists um, on these sliders. So I can move like this channel, channel 70 happens to be the X axis for this robot. Ah. Here we go. Mark, what's going on in the back room? Robots. Robots are going on? Robots are happening. Robots and beer? Ah, so the six that are in the back there, one, two, three, four, five, six, those, uh, these are the ones that we're bringing to our first gig on Monday, which is like five days away. Uh, so we're getting them hooked up and tested. All right, now I get to put end effectors and yellow arms on all of the remaining robots in the six over there, the six pallets that don't have yellow arms and end effector pieces. Mark is going to explain how we've improved the robot uh, interface. So uh, it's changed a lot, right? Right. So he has here this GUI that he has designed in uh, NetMeans and processing, right? Right. And it, it kind of connects the robots to the user via a Xbox Connect. So this is the sensor that we're using. Yep. Uh, and this is the visualization for what's happening. So I have, this is the raw data from the Kinect right here. So you can see these red dots is the uh, reflected laser point cloud. Um, so that's me and that's Sarah with her camera. Uh, right now I have the Kinect in hand tracking mode. You can see I put my hand up here and it draws this blue dot where my hand is. I have that mapped if we go to the left here. So this is our delta field, um, and that big giant blue blob right here is my hand, where it thinks I've mapped my hand in the 3D space or in the 2D space of the, the deltas. Um, each of these little circles is one of our deltas out on the floor. So now I know where I'm mapping things. You wave your hand in the space in front of the connect, and uh, when, whenever there's blue over a delta, it affects the delta's motion. 